Well, what have we got? It looks like a crepe myrtle. Actually, it's a crepe myrtle, but in badly need of pruning. So this is Hiro saying, well, I wasn't going to do this, but this one looks so badly in need of pruning that I decided to bring it in and let's get started. So like I said, this is a crepe myrtle. Uh, it's in the middle of August. They love the heat. That's when they bloom. Unfortunately, they also like to shoot all over the place. That's why it's so thick in there and I kind of remember what I have, but it's always a surprise when I get started pruning. All these at the base is just sucker. So I'm going to take these out first. See, as we get in there, there is a big trunk. I think this is a multi. See, there's a big trunk in there. So I'll go ahead and clean it up and get back to you. Now that I got the suckers cleaned out, you can kind of see what I have to work with. Look at that trunk. There's something in there and look at the size of that trunk. So, now it's starting to look like a bonsai instead of a big old bush. Now, when you have flowering things, there's all these uh, choices you have to make. Do you see where the flowers are located? The flowers are on the tips of the growth. But, we need to cut the tips of the growth for the shape. Hmm. Well, one good thing about crepe myrtles, uh, they will continue to bloom till it starts to cool down. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and cut uh, the ends so that it gets back into shape and there should be enough time for it to come back and bloom again. Now, it doesn't work with all blooming things, but most blooming things tend to bloom on the tip. So those are the choices that have to be made. But I'll go ahead and start pruning the ends and get this into the bonsai shape that it should be. See, much too long. See where all the flower buds are being cut off. But that is what it's supposed to be like right here, right? So I gotta do the same thing with everything. All these nice flowers get cut off. Now, those of you in mild weather, uh, crepe myrtles may not do well for you. They like the heat, they like dry heat. Uh, if you are in the humid area, well, actually what they do, they have different varieties of crepe myrtle uh, that are resistant to mildew. So probably the best thing to do is check with your local nursery and see what type of crepe myrtles will grow there and some of you will not be able to grow. Some more nice flowers that gotta get cut off. Now, if you had follow what I say and not what I do, you wouldn't be in this mess. Would have pruned this a lot sooner and then so you will have this and then the buds will be on here. Well, this one was neglected, as usual. 
So this probably might not have been pruned since last fall. So all these young shoots that came up in the spring should have been cut back. Then we won't be in this predicament in the first place. But that's the reality of um, being a plant around here is you don't get the attention you need when you need it. Almost done. Okay, let's take a look and see what we got. Actually, it was quite old, this thing. Well, 30 plus years old, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. I'm thinking uh, in the future, well, this is currently the front, but in the future, it needs to be more like that because of that one branch. You can see that it has a massive trunk. And I pan out. And once it blooms again, it will be spectacular. Stick it in a round pod. That solves a lot of the problem. But I think this will be fine as the front in the future. And unfortunately, I did take off a lot of foliage. Well, most of the flowers are gone. But I have confidence that this will come right back. Uh, if I remember, I shall try to show you the results of today's pruning in about a month and month and a half by then it should be in bloom again so anyway this is hero saying goodbye this has been the neglected crepe myrtle and we are in the middle of august so we still got plenty of heat which these love they will grow back and bloom again so I'll see you again real soon in another chapter.